This video does not replace the operating instructions in any way. Before using the machine, the operating instructions must be read in full and the stipulated safety regulations observed. The manufacturer assumes no liability for damage due to non-observance of the operating instructions. Hello, my name is Armin. Today, I'll be showing you how to correctly set up a square bale wrapping table. First, we adjust the belt length. Then, we set the square paws. And finally, we adjust the film pre-stretcher. The basic settings for the most common bale dimensions can be found in the operating instructions. All values are guide values. Fine adjustments should be made after the first bales have been wrapped. The belt length should be set in such a way that the bale is guided closely in the vertical position and lies in the center of the wrapping table in the horizontal position. If the belt length is too long, the rotation becomes unstable, which means it is not possible to achieve the correct overlap. If the belt length is set too short, the bale can fall off the wrapping table during the wrapping process. To adjust the belt lengths, remove the tension lever from the machine bracket. The following setting must always be made without a bale. Open the right-hand locking device on the belt length adjuster. To do so, this needs to be lifted slightly with the tension lever. Repeat the process on the other side of the machine. Now turn the belt length adjuster into the specified position. Note, use the settings table in the operating instructions as a guide. After that, lock both sides again. The square pause setting is used to stop the wrapping table in a targeted manner so as to ensure correct overlap on the long side. To do so, place a square bale on the wrapping table. Using the table down function, turn the bale until it rests against the drive roller. Then install the sensor plate with Sensor E. To do so, loosen the screw and turn the plate from the outside in until the sensor lights up. Fix the sensor plate in the appropriate position. Information about the current position of the square bale is passed on to the program via this sensor. The square pause menu item is used to stop the wrapping table for a certain period of time during the wrapping process. In this way, the required film overlap of at least 50% is achieved on the long side of the bale. The following basic rule applies. The more rectangular the bale, the longer the square pause. A square bale measuring 120 by 70 centimeters therefore requires a pause of approximately 0.4 to 0.6 seconds. The more square the bale dimensions are, the shorter the square pause should be set. Round bales, for example, always have the same rotation speed, so the value must be set to 0 seconds. Finally, set the film pre-stretcher. For square bales, the wrapping film should extend just beyond the bale conveyor belt. When wrapping round bales, the film pre-stretcher is set in such a way that film runs around the center of the bales. Now you know how to correctly set up the wrapping table for a square bale wrapper. Thank you for watching.